Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 27th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Wow, what an active weather day we had yesterday, and it may be active again today, just a little further south. Skycam imagery this morning shows some clouds. Let's start at the south part of the state. We see some clouds, but a few breaks down at Dauphin Island as we look off uh, primarily to the east. I'm afraid no breaks visible, and it uh, looks a little foggy out there as well at Birmingham with the lights reflecting off the low cloud deck and a very similar look as we look at Huntsville. So uh, lots of clouds and some thunderstorms going on this morning. Our surface map shows a very large high just to the north of Lake Superior, making its influence felt across much of the eastern half of the country, all the way down uh, into the Ohio River Valley. And across the southeastern U.S., we're dealing with a front that has uh, been the boundary and the focus for thunderstorms over the last uh, 24 hours, as well as a little bit of a surface low positioned on the Alabama-Georgia line. In the upper atmosphere... Uh, we're in somewhat of a zonal flow or very close to a zonal flow and uh, with little perturbations, little short waves moving through that are helping to enhance the showers and thunderstorms as evidenced by the development yesterday and then a second wave uh, that occurred uh, later in the afternoon. Temperatures across the uh, vast United States uh, quite varied uh, Across the Lake Superior area in Michigan and the uh, uh, northern part of Wisconsin, temperatures are in the single digits, where all along the Gulf Coast, we're in the 70s. And talk about a gradient. Look at the gradient across the state of Alabama. 43 at Muscle Shoals and 73 and down in South Alabama. So it's just a, what is that, 30-degree temperature range. We don't see that too often. Uh, especially this time of year, but uh, there it is. And, of course, you can you can kind of tell 54 at Birmingham and 70 at Alex City. So uh, you can t pretty much decide exactly where the front is. And the showers and thunderstorms are right along or just behind the front. You can see that from the regional uh, composite of uh, our radar this morning. QPF-wise, it looks like the focus of rain is going to be along that stationary front, which is going to stall out uh, just to the south of central Alabama. Of course, the position where it is is going to determine who gets what rain. But over the next five days, it could be rather wet, uh, at least in spots. As you saw yesterday, very, very spotty. I only had three hundredths of an inch at my house, not even enough to dampen the uh, the pollen that we have out there. Storm Prediction Center still out looking a slight chance for severe weather, uh, generally from a little bit to the uh, east, northeast of Mobile, across uh, parts of southeast Alabama and the southern half of Georgia, as well as uh, little sections of northern Florida. All right, the 060 GFS model run this morning, and the front should produce... Um, Showers from about Birmingham to the south. I think uh, for Birmingham area, we'll see some showers this morning, but we could actually see some clearing this afternoon. In the upper atmosphere, Monday, uh, we stay in this bit of a zonal flow, which means there's not going to be much progression to that front. So the question is, wherever the front is, is where the showers will occur. And uh, I think for the most part, uh, we'll be dry during the day on Monday. Uh, the Upper atmosphere stays pretty much uh, zonal over the southeastern U.S., but here comes one little short wave followed by another one right on the uh, northwest coast of the U.S., uh, and uh, with the frontal position, the, the stationary front just to our south, we could see some showers. Uh, the uh, little short wave zips across over to uh, the southern Great Lakes, while the next one is digging in, and that next one's going to give us a bit of a push. But in the meantime, we've still got uh, lots of moisture, and we've got showers as a possibility on Wednesday as well. That uh, second trough moves into the uh, Mississippi River Valley and in, uh, amplifies, intensifies, and so that will help to create a uh, surface low in the uh, northwestern Gulf that will move up into Alabama on Thursday, and that will set the stage for a good soaking, I think, for us. Now, that uh, low moves very, very quickly uh, as the, the uh, 
Cold air is digging back behind it, so the low moves very quickly. You see the 540 line down into northern Mississippi, northern Alabama. Surface low now up over the Great Lakes on Friday. But I still think uh, the possibility exists Friday for a few showers uh, in the wraparound moisture. Uh, the northwesterly flow on Saturday will help to dry us out. I think that for the most part, uh, we may see a shower, uh, a kind of an isolated shower or two, but I think for the most part, uh, we uh, stay cool. And then uh, into Sunday, a week from today, it looks like we finally dry out, and that's the 3rd of April. Looking ahead into uh, voodoo country, the uh, pattern stays very active. Here's uh, around the 5th. And uh, we were talking yesterday about the 5th, 6th kind of time frame, and that certainly looks like uh, a wet pattern there. On the uh, 8th, uh, we're, uh, we're kind of into this stationary front situation again, so it could be wet again as another system is coming out of the uh, Rockies. And then finally, as we uh, head into the 11th, uh, the possibility exists as we have a very large, uh, broad trough over uh, the central part of the United States. So that could also uh, provide us with some additional wet weather as the fronts can't get beyond our area. Well, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, the uh, Weather Extreme video today, James Spann should be back with the next one tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that uh, you have a great Sunday. And by all means, stay tuned to the blog for additional weather information today as uh, we watch the possibility for some severe weather uh, off to our southeast. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.